Oh my god. It's getting intense. Whew. The total amount that I'm going to pay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Yayang Veloso, a Filipino registered nurse working and living in New Zealand. So guys, for this vlog, we are going to open letters that I received in the mail. So I've got two batches of letters. The one I received, I, re I got this before I went home to the Philippines and the second one when I got back yesterday. So yes, I just got back from the Philippines after a 50-day holiday. It felt like it wasn't enough. I think th that's the way it is. It's always not enough. I can't do anything about it. So anyway guys, this first batch of letters, there's actually heaps of them. I got this when I got back from Wellington. So I worked in Wellington, which is in North Island. I worked there for more than two months. That was, if I'm not mistaken, from September 12 until November 16. And then I returned from Wellington on November 19 last year. I got here November 20. And I already saw this. I should have brought the, these letters when I went home to the Philippines. I did check this one of the letters. It looks like it came from New Zealand police, which is not exciting at all. And then I've got the second batches when I got back yesterday. And so I already had a suspicion that I will receive a letter or letters from New Zealand police because when I worked in Wellington, the place where I lived or where I stayed, that road going to the house has a speed camera. There were two times that when I drive past the speed camera, it flashed and I know that it already recorded my speed when I was driving that time. What happens is here in New Zealand, you know, we have different speed limit depending on where you are driving. And I think I mentioned this in my previous vlog. Usually, when you are driving in a re residential area, speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour. Okay? If you drive, if you're driving in the countryside, Usually the drive, uh, the, the maximum driving speed is 100 kilometers an hour. Apparently, I exceeded 50 kilometers per hour when I was driving on that road going to where I stayed or lived. So we're going to open these, these letters, guys, and we'll see how much is the total that I am going to pay. I've had one violation before. I remember that was um, Sunday, Easter Sunday, after work. So I worked Saturday evening, 11 p.m. And then I finished work 7 a.m. the following day, which, which was Easter Sunday. And I was driving. And my speed that time was, I think, 58 or... I'm not sure now, 58 or was it 63 kilometer an hour? So that time there was a patrol car, police patrol car patrolling. I don't know <laughs> what you call it. And then when I drive past the patrol car, the lights immediately, you know, those colorful lights immediately turned on and then they tailed me and then I pulled over and I got ticketed and I paid $85. Yes, just for over speeding for say 10 kilometers an hour. Before I forget, when I got back yesterday, I opened one of the letters today because I was really worried because the letter came from Ministry of Justice, which is already i i think it's kind of a major thing getting a letter from ministry of justice so anyway 
I did call Ministry of Justice and I spoke with one of their staff and then we had a discussion and that's what I'm going to share to you guys why Ministry of Justice got involved. Okay, so what happens is if you are caught by the police or the speed camera over speeding, usually for this example, the speed camera, you will receive a letter from New Zealand police, okay? And you are given 28 days to respond to that notice. After 28 days, if you have not responded, then they will send you another letter, all right? And then you will be given 28 days to respond. If you need to pay, then you need to pay, okay? Now, after 28 days of that second notice that you received, if you still have not responded to it, then they are going to get the Ministry of Justice involved in the case. And there will be an extra fee, right? Which is $30 for the Ministry of Justice being involved in that case. So what happened was, instead of $80, Okay, that I need to pay for that particular violation of, of overspeeding, I will be paying $110 being $30 fee for having the Ministry of Justice involved. So that's what the lady told me when I spoke with her this morning. So we are going to open the letters first batch of letters and then second batch of letters. I am thinking that most of the letters in this first batch are just the same with most of the letters here in the second batch of letters because again, as what I've mentioned, I have not responded to these letters within 28 days. So they will send me again another letter after 28 days. So we're gonna open this guys and see how much I need to pay. Ah, not really good, not exciting because I just came from a holiday. I spent a huge amount of money in the Philippines and then here comes New Zealand giving me another fine. Uh, I mean, another amount to pay, which is ridiculous. But again, it's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault. Okay. Finally guys, there's a letter from AA, so it's getting intense. Whew. I'll tell you later, but it's good that I'm opening a letter that is not about penalties.
All right, guys, we're gonna open the second batch. Finally, another letter that is not about fines, which is good. My BNZ Visa card has arrived. Ah. And New World Club card, it's a loyalty card in one of the supermarkets here in New Zealand. It's good. I just hope that all of the letters are just about like that. total amount that I'm going to pay is $678 and 32 cents What a tragedy. At the end of the day, it's my fault. That's my fault. All right, so by the way, it's not only about overspeeding. Half of that $678.32 came from a penalty about parking. So for example, I've got a parking breach, all right? And this was sent to me by Smart Compliance Management. So that is the example of the parking breach. All right, so let me explain, all right? Now for the overspeeding, I think I was clear with that, that if you go beyond the desired speed limit or the posted speed limit say for example 50 kilometers an hour you go you drive 50, 60 kilometers an hour so you over you're over 10 kilometers an hour so you're going to pay now with the parking breach here in new zealand there are parking areas that are free okay but there is only a minimum oh, there's only no not a minimum there's only a maximum duration as to oh my english is not working now because of the amount that i'm going to pay okay here in new zealand there are parking areas where you can park for free but you can only park for a maximum period of time say for example 90 minutes i'm setting 90 minutes as an example because that's what happened here so there is a there's a supermarket in Wellington, we call it New World, and they have parking areas, but you can only park your car for 90 minutes. Apparently, I parked more than 90 minutes, and they've got cameras. I think most of the parking areas in New Zealand have cameras, and they've, all, they've caught me parking. They've caught, you know, they've caught me parked more than 90 minutes so for this one like for this one vehicle entry date and time september 20 2023 1 pm and then i exited at 4 21 pm so that is obviously more than 90 minutes but to be exact that's 1 33 so nearly three hours. Woohoo! I can remember there is another parking area in the basement that is three hours maximum. I don't know now. I guess the best way to go is to
pay. Give me some forgiveness. So I guess I just have to pay that the $678.32 and that's around 678.32 times let's say $33 because one New Zealand dollar is 33 pesos. I'm not sure now but that's just the average. 33. So I am paying $22,384.56. For the penalties of course guys I'm not gonna end this vlog without sharing you my lesson for this out of this misfortune <laughs> misfortune ah, guys um, so there are two lessons that I learned one is you know for for the for the parking bridge here in New Zealand they actually post there is a very obvious sign as to how long you can park in that in that area and uh, I think next time what I will do is I will really have to make sure that I read and I take note of of those notices that they post on on the walls how how long I can park and not only that I have to check my clock as well my time and I have to make sure that I will leave before I, I reach the, the the maximum you know time that I am allowed to park in that particular parking lot and the second one for over speeding you know what when I drive I just step on the gas pedal and I'm not checking on the speedometer and you, you can actually you you know I actually don't notice that I'm already exceeding like 50 kilometers an hour more so when I am driving in the country uh, on the countryside the, the the maximum speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour and you know the the roads are very straight so then you you won't notice you won't notice really that you're already exceeding the 100 kilometers an hour speed limit so I think the best way to avoid this breach is to really check your speedometer every now and then while you are driving once you notice that you're already exceeding the, the maximum speed limit, then just decelerate. I think that's pretty much it. And it's very, very helpful, especially if you are here in New Zealand. If you have not had any over speeding penalties, good on you. If you have not had any parking breach, good on you. But if you had at least one, then hopefully you also learned your lesson. To those who are overseas, who are planning to come here in New Zealand, at least you know now that we have this kind of thing here. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please hit like and please subscribe if you haven't. If you have questions or if you have anything that you want me to vlog, just comment it down below and I'll see you in my next vlog. And don't forget to Think young and stay young. Bye. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away.